I mean, even I, I take them to, to my bed with me because very often as one's drifting off to sleep, your mind is in a very sort of a receptive state and I make uh, notes at that time. Here, here are some pieces that were made and some that weren't. That's how it evolved really, through these scrappy little drawings. It starts obviously in, in one's head, something hits you as a sort of sensation or as a possible idea and you... I, my, my immediate response is to reach for my notebook and start to make a, um, a little idea and transcription. So none of these figures are anything like them actually got into the or represented in the final in the final mural. Now I'm not so sure about this one. Uh, this is interesting. I've recorded dates. So this thing started in 1997 and the last date is 2002 although I, I know that there's more recent stuff and I would, I'm not sure you're ready for this. I've been working in drawing and painting in, in Hamilton Finley's um, garden, Hosparta in Scotland, and I've got a lot of sketchbooks which include drawings of Little Sparta and paintings of Little Sparta. And these relate directly to my paintings, um, so these are very much sort of working um, drawings. So I suppose there are two strands really, one is um, work which relates directly to projects and painting and then drawing which is just like a diary um, where I write lots of notes as well as um, draw. It's, it's a process which develops over time and I think it's very very basic. It's very odd that one can draw when you think about it. I've been able, able to draw from the word go but um, I still have problems with drawing sometimes. Not a problem. It's hard to do drawing, but it's a natural process, particularly this sort of drawing. Because it's direct and intense, as, we, as I said before. It's, it just comes from my psyche onto the paper. <laughs> 